we're not gonna make you wait. And we'll start this unboxing video with the iPad Pro itself. Today we're unboxing the 12.9 inch Wi-Fi plus cellular model with one terabyte of storage. This model retails for 2,839 Sing or about 18.99 in the US. Okay, let's lift this lid off. <laughs> if we can, there. Okay, oh wow, here it is, the new iPad Pro. Let's set it aside for just a little bit more. Next up, we have a packet with user guides, SIM ejector tool, and the usual white stickers. Also in the box, a 19 watt USB-C wall adapter and a USB-C to USB-C cable. Yep, an iOS device with a USB-C cable. Didn't think this would happen so soon. As with every iPad ever shipped, there are no headphones in the box. Now back to the iPad Pro. Let's peel this off. Here it is. We got the space gray one. Matches my MacBook Pro that we reviewed two months ago. Let's flip it around. No home button, folks. Speaking of buttons, volume buttons are here on the right, as well as a point for attaching the Apple Pencil. And because this is the Wi-Fi plus cellular model, there's a nano SIM card tray. On both its top and bottom, there are speaker grills, four in total. And here also on the bottom is a USB-C port. The power button is here at the top, so let's power it on. Upon initial setup, it asks you to also set up Face ID, so let's do that. As a backup, you can also enter a passcode. Enter your Apple ID, and last but not the least, Siri. Now on to the smart keyboard folio case. So this can be folded in three ways, as a cover like so, desk mode, or like this when you use it on your lap. Let's open it up, pull this tab up, and here it is in charcoal gray. Unfortunately, if you're buying the keyboard version, it only comes in this color, unlike the smart folio case sans the keyboard that comes in white, and if you get the 11 inch model, pink sand. When you open it up, it looks like this, keyboard on one side and felt like cover on the other. You connect it to the iPad Pro via magnets, and this new model has more magnets inside, so just aim to align these three dots over here, the smart connector, and the case should snap on. Once connected, the keyboard will just work. There's a cutout over here for the iPad Pro's camera, perfect fit. When you close the cover like so, the iPad is automatically locked, so you don't have to worry about accidental taps or typing. And because you all pointed out that we didn't properly show it during our hands-on, we'll do it again. It can stand like so, ideal for working on a desk, and this one over here for a better viewing angle when on your lap. The keyboard feels nice with satisfying keystrokes, and it's easy to get a feel for. Last but not the least, the second gen Apple Pencil. Let's peel this off and take the cover off. First up, we have a packet again with manuals and the Apple Pencil itself. As you can see, it now has a matte rubbery finish with a flat surface over here where the label is. This makes attaching it to the iPad Pro easier. You place the pencil here and the first time around, it'll prompt you to pair it with your new iPad Pro. You only pair it once, so the next time you stick it up here, it'll start to charge wirelessly. Carrying the Apple Pencil separately has always worried me because it's so easy to misplace. But now there's less chances of that happening because look, it actually doesn't come off easily. Using the Apple Pencil feels great and very natural. It's also responsive and the closest you'll get to using a pencil.